Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to more Persona 3. When we last left off, we were about to head to summer school. I mean, nobody's excited about summer school. Come on now. Not even the teachers are excited about summer school, but we better get going, so let's do that. And hopefully, the subject is Yukari, and we're trying to get into her panties, and hopefully that's what we learned today in school. But I doubt it. It's the first day of summer school. Despite the heat, the lecture continues. Of course it continues. Your academics has increased. Okay, good. That's what I expected. If it didn't increase, I'd be mad. It's the second day of summer school. Oh, so it's gonna be like a continuing montage. Okay, I get it. I know it's hot, everyone, but let's just try and get through class. Focus, pocus! You must be all very curious students to be taking this course over the summer. I was forced! I'm not really sure what to make of that. <laughs> well, let's talk about something interesting today. All you future magicians will want to pay close attention. <laughs> Today's subject is tarot. That's right, those cards often used in fortune telling. Originating in 15th century Europe as normal playing cards, tarot cards evolved into tools of divination. A variety of different versions of tarot card decks exist, including the Marcial and Rider decks. But today, in respect of the great magician Crowley, we will be using the Thoth deck. First, let's talk about the composition of the deck. The modern 78 card tarot deck is divided into two parts. There are 22 major arcana, the face cards and 56 minor arcana or number cards. The minor arcana are also sometimes called pips. Okay. And then he's telling the arcanas, you know, like full arcana, which is me, and then magician and stuff like that, you guys know. So the full, it represents the beginning and suggests infinite possibilities. The next card, Magician, represents action and initiative, but also immaturity. Oh, like Kenji, the fuckboy. The Priestess represents contemplation and inner knowledge. The Empress represents motherhood and the life it brings forth. The Emperor is an opposing card. It represents fathering and relates to leadership and decision-making skills. The Hierophant represents formality and knowledge and stands for religion. The Lover's card represents choice. Here, the individual's consciousness has finally surfaced. Okay, so Yukari is the lover's arcana, so it represents choice here, and the individual's consciousness has finally surfaced. Okay, we got that. Chariot represents victory for the individual, but only a momentary one. Justice represents the knowledge of what is right and what is wrong. The Hermit represents the individual's search for answers by looking inward, deep inside his heart. Fortune represents fate and the opportunities that come with it. Strength represents both passion and self-control. It is depicted as power with reason. The hangman reflects the individual's inability to take action. Spiritual deaths await the individual with a 13th card, which is aptly named Death. Death is considered a transitional card. The old ends and the new begins. Now, let us continue along the path following the transition. Temperance is the balance of... Okay, we get it now. We get it, guys. Alrighty then. Thank you, Mr. Edagawa. We get it. This is a long-ass lecture. Despite the heat, the lecture continues. Your academics has increased. It should have increased like 80 million times for that long-ass lecture. I mean, it was cool to know what the arcanas represent, but I kind of already had a clue which arcana, you know, what it stood for, like the definition of it. So I didn't need him to tell me again. If you guys, you know, wanted to know all that, just, okay, you guys didn't want to know all that. You guys are happy that I skipped that. It's the third day of summer school. Despite the heat, the lecture continues. Your academics has increased. Come on, level up my academics, baby! It's the fourth day of summer school, and I'm contemplating hanging myself outside. Despite the heat, the lecture continues. Your academics has increased. Yada, yada, fucking yada, okay! Why does the game do that? It always, like, skips these days. I wish you could have the lecture and then you could do something after school, like maybe, you know, level up a social link or something. But no, no, no. It's the fifth day of summer school. Now let's begin. Yori Varhe. How are y'all handling the heat? I could brew you some of my special tea if you'd like. <laughs> now let's continue with our special summer study, The Truth Behind Magic. No, let's not do that. Let us not do that. I remember this guy in Persona 4 telling us about uh, Izanagi and Izunami. That was a pretty cool story, but right now I'm really not trying to like listen to this. I'm sorry if you guys think I'm skipping parts of the story, but I'm trying to like handle the main parts, okay? Oh, before I forget. 
I'll be giving supplementary lessons at the nurse's office starting in the second term. I'm thinking of doing demonstrations using tarot cards. But I won't have the time for that during the lecture. If you're interested, stop by after school. Everyone is welcome. <laughs> Your academics has increased. Why do I feel like that guy has touched a little boy sometime in his life? And when I say sometime in his life, I mean every single night of his life. Like when he goes, yeah, 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 yeah. It's just really creepy to me. I I'm not digging the vibe there. Sorry, Mr. Adagawa, I'm not digging it. It's the last day of summer school. Despite the heat, the lecture continues. Yeah, yeah. Your academics has increased. Yes! Sorry, I just had to just give it the yes. How to make the boring lecture exciting by going, yes. <laughs> okay, we are now back in action, ladies and gentlemen. So let's talk to everybody, see how they're doing. I have learned the meaning of the summer festival. It seems like a very interesting event. I am looking forward to wearing the special item of clothing called the Yukata. Oh yeah, baby. This will be a new experience for me. Let's talk to Yukari. Huh? Our senpai went out again. Where did they get the energy? I'm so tired, I think I'm gonna go to bed early tonight. Aww. Girl, I'm your senpai. Let's talk to a little doggy. Orf! Koromaru is looking at you pleadingly. He seems to want to go for a walk. If no one else has taken him out, you can walk Koromaru at night. Occasionally, your doormates will join you. Walking Koromaru will take up your time for the night. Koromaru is looking up at you pleadingly. He seems to want to go for a walk. I guess can go with you tonight. Yes, go together. Ooh. <laughs> we get to walk the dog with I guess. Yeah, baby. Okay, this dude wants to play. Koromaru-san seems very happy. He's able to go on his walks and come here with his friends. Look how happy he is. Look at him go. This must be where the summer festival I've heard about will be held. For what reason it is required to clothe oneself in a yukata? I would like to infiltrate the site tomorrow to investigate this matter further. You spoke with Igis for a while. Hey buddy, how you doing? Oh, you love me. Welcome back. Shall we return to the dorm? Let us come again, Koromaro-san. <laughs> his butt is up and his tail was wagging. That means the dog hella loves me. Love you too, buddy. What will you do? Let's study then go to sleep. Raise our academics some more. I mean... You can never raise your academics, you know, enough. You, you can do it as many times as you like. Dot, dot, dot. Your academics has increased. All right, I'm tired. I'm suffering from fatigue. Why? Probably because I've been studying my ass off at summer school, like, for a week straight. Mr. Edegawa want to talk my damn ear off. Surprised I'm not deaf yet. Jeez. At least the teacher, the girl teacher, was pretty cool about it. Like, it was, she was just lecturing me, and then it was like, boom, boom, boom. Mr. Adagawa, no, he just wanna yap, yap, yap. Summer vacation continues. There is a summer festival today at Naganaki Shrine. Oh, okay, so there's a festival and what? I'm gonna hang out with all the girls? And the guys, and the guys, I can't forget about the guys. Oh, hi, Z-kun, this is Yukari. Hey, did you know that the summer festival is being held at Naganaki Shrine? Wanna go with me? Don't mind if I do. Really? Great! You have decided to go to the summer festival with Yukari. Oh, uh, I hope the other doormates don't get mad at me. Uh-oh, that's gonna be awkward. Like, hey, why don't you invite me? And then the dog's gonna be like, rawr, rawr, rawr. And that means, why the hell didn't you bring me in Doganese? You have come to Naganaki Shrine with Yukari. The shrine is filled with people eating food and playing games. Okay, Yukari looking cute. Oh, that yukata is so cute. I didn't know they make ones like that. I should have looked harder. You have a nicer figure. You look good already. Oh, man! It's time to get into pimp coon mode! Okay. You have a nicer figure? I mean, that's more intimate. You know, that, that means she knows that I'm recognizing that body. But you look good already is more of the gentleman way of saying, Hey, baby, you look good. But you know what? I'm nasty boy. I'm gonna go with you have a nicer figure. Really? Wait, have you been checking me out? Uh, I guess you're a guy after all. I guess I'll take it as a compliment. Look at her, she's blushing. She knows what's up. Yukari seems happy. Yukatas are pretty skimpy if you ask me. 
They're nice in warm weather, but they don't offer much protection, and they take some getting used to. I guess women in the old days were just tougher. Mmm, smells so good. Let me smell, let me smell. Oh, yeah, baby, it smells real good. I guess it is dinner time, huh? That explains why I'm so hungry. Hey, z -kun, would you like to get some takoyaki? I don't think I can finish it by myself, so will you help me? You bet your sweet ass I'll help you. Let's get some of that takoyaki. Excuse me! One order of takoyaki, please. Um, can I have extra seaweed and shaved bonito? And easy on the mayo. Hi there! I'll be ready in just a sec. Here you go. I gave you an extra one. Good luck with your boyfriend. <laughs> I'm Yukari's boyfriend, okay? Thanks. Yukari seems excited. I'm excited too. Very excited in my pants. Did you hear that? She called you my boyfriend. <laughs> oh yeah, it's true too. She ain't lying. Yukari is eating the takoyaki. Mmm, it tastes like hochichiya. Yukari is trying to say something. Sorry, I shouldn't have talked while I was eating. I was trying to say that it tastes like Octopia's. You know, the place by the station? Maybe she works at both places. Either way, it tastes good. Yeah, it does taste good. Even though you ate most of it! Can't even share with me! How dare you! Alright, let's explore some more. What about those masks over there? Some cute-ass masks. Oh, check out the masks! I've never seen those before. God, why do I have such a hard time pronouncing the word masks? Masks. Ugh. Hey, there's a dog mask. Wait, doesn't it look like Korochan? Oh yeah, this is his real home. That must be why there's a mask that looks like him. Although, the shop isn't really related to the shrine. Maybe I'm just imagining the similarity. Well, maybe it is him, because that's a very popular breed of dog. Hey, you two! Would you like to play luck draw? All you do is pick a ball! It's easy, and everyone's a winner! A game, huh? Wanna give it a try? He says everyone's a winner. That's what they all say! I'll watch. Sure, I guess. I'll put my manly skills to work. The box is filled with individually numbered balls. Pick a ball from the top, pick a ball from the bottom. You know, as they say, if you're with a girl, you gotta go balls deep. Come on, give me a winner, baby. You pick the ball from the bottom. Oh, let's see what you've... You actually won? How's that pass? I mean, congratulations. Well, here's your prize. You won a Jack Frost doll. Yes! Please come again. Obtain Jack Frost doll. Wow, z -kun. I didn't think you could actually win at a place like this. This is probably the first time I've seen someone walk away with a prize. I was hoping we'd see some of our classmates here, but I guess not. I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed. But we had fun anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. Sure, that was it? We're gonna go home already? I had a great time today! We should go somewhere else sometime soon. Yes! <laughs> Yeah! That's a good day with Yukari. One step closer, ladies and gentlemen. One step closer. You are tired. You don't seem to be feeling well. Let's sleep earlier then. That was cool. We got a little closer to Yukari. We won a cute little Jack Frost doll. I was, I was hoping that we could give the doll to her. So maybe we could, you know, express our feelings towards her. You guys know what I'm saying? But no, I guess we're keeping it for ourselves. Summer vacation continues. Where are we going next? What is the next adventure of Zikun? Hey dude, this is Kenji. You want to go to the movies? I heard they're having a horror flick marathon. Sounds pretty cool, huh? So what do you say? Let's go, man. Since you have Sadie... What? I already ranked it up to the max. Go fuck yourself. Oh, that sucks. Guess I'll call someone else then. Later. Yeah, why don't you call your girlfriend that doesn't even like you anymore? Kenji seems disappointed. I don't care. I already maxed it out. Get the hell out of here. I have no reason to hang out with you. Let's see what Yukari's up to. I want to hang out with her again. 
Oh, Yukari! Where is my bae? Actually, wait. Uh, let's check the recordings. Let's see if there's any new ones. Oh, wait. This is not it. One more floor we go. Because, I don't know. The last one we saw um, was Fuka when she was undressing. So let's see if we can... Uh, there seems to be no new recordings. Damn it! No. Well, no. You, uh, Fuka wasn't undressing. She was... Um, she had, like, some belt, and she was, like, using it. It was vibrating on her bed. And then Mitsuru was knocking the door, and she's like, What are you doing? And Fuka was like, ah, I'm not doing anything. Hey, Dormaids, how you doing today? Where is Yukari? She is not here. Hey, Mitsuru. Huh? Koromaru's food? Well, he usually eats vitamin-enhanced dog food. But sometimes we feed him our leftovers. It's important that he eats a balanced and nutritious diet. Yes, that is very true, Mitsuru. I have no disagreement there. I am just trying to find Yukari. So let's look around the whole map. Maybe we can bump into her. Uh, let's check Palowina Mall. That seems like a popular place to go. And another thing I also need to do, I need to talk to Elizabeth. I haven't done that many favors for her yet. So maybe I can show her around. Hold on, who's this right here? Did you see that? Look at that guy by the fountain. I was wondering what he'd do with his gum once he's done. And he spat it into the fountain. So disgusting. What is he thinking? Who? This tub of right here? Huh? Ooh, what is that mysterious food? Give that to me. He took your odd morsel. Ugh, this is awful. But I'm impressed. I haven't tasted something like that in all my life. I like you now. He likes me now. Oh, okay, you gonna take me on a hot date? Well then, stud. We go to the same school, right? I can tell from your uniform. Um, I'm kind of embarrassed to say this to you first thing, but... Would you mind not standing so close to me? It's because you're so thin and cool. If people start thinking we're best friends or something, I'm gonna end up as the uncool one. Yeah, I thought your voice sounded familiar. You know what I'm here for? Hand it over. Whoa, it's you! Help! Emergency! Hey, you! Call the fire truck, I'm in the... the... Call the police? There's a police station right in front of you! Yeah, right! We think the same way! Pipe down, I don't want anyone getting suspicious. Look, I have to go take care of some business, but you're Nozomi Sumitsu, aren't you? Yeah, I thought so. You're gonna have to reconsider. I really can't let this one slide. That's all he says, and then he walks away like he's some cool guy? Well, that was something. Normally, I would stand up to guys like him, but I'm trying to be passive nowadays. My name is Nozomi Sumitsu. By the way, about what I said before, maybe it's not so bad having you stand in front of me. Nozomi seems to have warmed up to you. You became acquainted with Nozomi Sumitsu, the Gourmet King. Aw, yeah! New socialist! What's up? A mysterious voice rings in your head. That's what I'm talking about. I didn't even know I had that odd morsel in my pocket. I guess I got that somewhere. I don't even remember. All right, he's the Moon Arcana. Of course he's the Moon Arcana because he's so damn gordo. You have established a new social link. Yay. Hip hip hooray. All that arguing made me hungry. My stomach is definitely not amused. You want to tag along? Do you know who I am? Yeah, you introduced yourself like five times. I am called the Gourmet King. That's right. It's my little nickname. I'm Gourmet King 2009. Or was it 2010? Eh, whatever. I know all the best places for... Uh, what? The zombie's stomach is growling loudly. That sounds like a tummy emergency. This is gonna be too expensive. I'll have to treat you another time. Don't worry, I'll remember. All right, see you later, buddy. Nozomi ran off. It's getting dark, so you return to the dorm. That gourmet king sure runs fast when he's hungry, but he acts like he can't even move a muscle when he's just chilling on that bench. Oh, hey. Hey, baby. It's so hot, I hate this weather. Don't you agree? 
I don't mind. It's brutal. It's always like this during the time of the year. Anyway, there won't be another full moon until September, right after summer break ends. It's like planning for exams, huh? Well, at least there's only four shadows left. We have to hang in there. Yes, we have to hang in there. Oh, everybody's looking around Koromaru. What's up? <sighs> Koromaru seems dispirited. Why? What happened? Oh, don't be sad, little buddy. I still love you. What's going on with this guy? I overcooked the meal the other day. I didn't want to throw it away, so I gave it to Koromaru. But he wouldn't eat it. Huh, oh, that bummed me out. I mean, I know it was burnt, but I didn't think it was that bad. Well, of course, if you give somebody burnt food, they're not gonna want it. <laughs> that's awesome! He wouldn't eat it! <laughs> that cracks me up! Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you? Mitsuru-san took Aiga-san to the summer festival. I didn't hear anything on the news about it, so no one must have noticed that Aigis is a robot. She must have been in stealth mode. Yeah, stealth mode. Huh? Koromaru's food? Okay, same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's go out to the mall. We have 19 more days to level up, so I'm not gonna rush going to Tartarus. I promise you guys, I'll be more well prepared for this boss battle. Last time... It felt like it was so hard for me to level up. Like, I was getting like 56 XP per battle. I'm like, are you shitting me? But now I know what to do. I'm not gonna take every single party member all the time to, you know, go in Tartarus. But anyway, that's for another story. Let's continue. Have you thought about what I told you last time? You can earn a fortune by investing just 20,000 yen. All you have to do is hand over the money. Well, what do you say? Uh, you know what, fuck it, YOLO. You gave the man 20,000 yen. I'll be in touch once your fortune has been made. And I'm pretty sure I'm never going to see that money again because I just got scammed out of 20,000 yen. All right, let's see what's in here. Yes. Uh, print club, punching bag. Let's get the hell out of there. Let's see if my old pal Monkey Monk is inside of Escapade. He better be. And there better be like two girls around his fat monk arms or else... Ah, oh, damn it. He probably already took them to the hotel. Huh? Are you hitting on me? I'm afraid I'll have to pass. A guy like you must already have a girlfriend and I'd hate to get in her way. Whatever, man. I have many girlfriends. Get in line. You know what? We're just gonna go home then. Maybe... Oh, what should I do? What should I do? Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go home. Maybe go to Tartarus for a little bit. Nah, nah. I'm just gonna study and go to sleep. Fuck it. What will you do? Let's study, then go to sleep. Can't really think of too many things to do, and I don't want to go to Tartarus tonight, because that's going to just be too long. I'm going to be in Tartarus for hours, literally. You have decided to study. Dot, 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 dot. Your academics has increased. You're feeling sleepy. Very sleepy. Go to sleep, Zikun. I get sleepy when I study, too. Actually... I get sleepy as soon as I open the book. I think I just make an excuse for myself to not study. <laughs> Summer vacation continues. Okay. Uh, what should we do today? I'm pretty sure that we can't talk to any of the social links. But you know what? I'm always going to just try. Let's go downstairs. Um, nope. See, can't do it again. Damn it. Well, let's see what Koromaru's up to. Arf! Alright. He's cool. Let me see if I can find them anywhere throughout the city. Okay. So, now I know that Yukari is not... She's not at the Palomino Mall. She's not inside the dorm right now. Maybe she's at... Iwatodai. You never know. Is that Kenji? On hot days like this, you gotta go to the Manga Cafe. It's nice and cool and you can read all the manga you want. They have PCs to access the internet there, too. Oh, that reminds me. Sometimes I see that weird guy there. He's always banging away on that little laptop of his, muttering to himself. And he's always got that briefcase, too. Is he, like, a day trader or something? Huh. Manga Cafe. Let's check that place out. Cool. Let's find out who that business guy is with the map. Or not map. The briefcase. <laughs> Why'd I say map? 
I think I'm thinking of the game 60 seconds. Manga Cafe. What the hell is that? Okay, I searched all over this place and I can't find that thing. Uh, Town Mall? I don't know. What's going on here? Uh, maybe it's at Port Island Station. Manga Cafe. Where have I seen that before? I don't think I've seen that before. Um, let's go down here. You know what? Someone in the comment section told me maybe I can buy a flower for Yukari. And she would want... She would want Rose Bouquet. It'll be 2,000 yen for a rose bouquet. Yes. Thank you very much for your purchase. Obtain rose bouquet. Yes. So let's go over here. Maybe we can go to the manga cafe. I think this might be it. Wait. Does this kitty want something? Yes, he does. Ah, oh, but I don't have anything. Cigarette smoke and nervous tension filled air. What is this? What's the name of this place? I can't read those letters! This is Q Sarah Sarah? It's dark down there. So? Stop being a pussy. Okay, fine. I guess we're not gonna find Manga Cafe. And we're not gonna find Yukari either. Unless she's at Naganaki Shrine. Never know. Nope, she's not here either. But let's talk to these people. I've got a scoop! These incidents all started with that god in the shrine's curse. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? Um, well, not at all. Tell me more! You're funny. But that's very open-minded of you. I'm impressed. Thank you. Can I get your number? I found that website. The one about revenge, remember? I wanted to get my revenge on this guy, but I chickened out. I closed the tab right away. And now I'm not even sure if I had the right URL. Alrighty then. Hi, I'm Maiko. Who are you? Mom and Dad said not to talk to bad people. Are you bad? No, I'm good. Yeah, real bad. You are? Wow, I've never met a bad person before. And she's hella happy about that. What the hell? Maiko looks as if she wants something. I can't play right now because I'm hungry. There's something I really want. Alright, I'm not gonna give it to you. That's just weird. What if I give her candy? Like a guy giving a little girl candy? That just has a whole bunch of red flags right there. The water looks crystal clear. Let's make a donation. It's an offertory box. Would you like to leave a donation? Yes. Insert 100 yen. You left a donation. Your academics have increased! Yay! My academics increased! Hooray! I wonder what that little girl wants though. So many of these characters want all these things, like the cat wants food, the gourmet king wants food, the guy wants 20,000 yen, that little girl at the playground wants something. Like, what do you guys want from me? We have less than two weeks until school resumes. Fighting the shadows is our priority, but you should still study some during the daytime. Damn, that's a tongue twister. Goodness. All right, you know what? Let me talk to Koromaru first. Aw, he's hella sad. Okay, I am going to go into Tartarus today. Let's do it. Okay, I'll tell the others. I'll be waiting at Tartarus around midnight. I wonder if we could bring the dog. That's the only reason why I'm going. He seemed really sad. I wonder if he wants to kick some shadow ass. So we are going to go to his personal playground. And hopefully we can beat some monsters. But if we can't bring him, then I'm still just going to try to level up. Let's see. Is he here? Yes! Woof! And to your party? Fuck yeah! That's so awesome! Okay, uh, and then I'm gonna bring Igis. Yeah. She said, please take me with you. Okay. And then, you know what? I'm gonna fight those people that are at the top of the floor that I'm stuck at. So who should we bring? Aki or Mitsuru? Let's bring... Uh... I don't know. You know what? Let's bring Mitsuru first. If I get my ass whooped, then I'm gonna switch him. For Akihiko. Alright, here we go. 72. God, I can't believe I've been up 72 floors. That's crazy. There are three shadows in the middle. Please be careful. Oh my god, I'm so happy to have the dog with me. That is beyond awesome. Where am I going? These guys. Yes, they're right over here. Alright, pray for me, guys. 
about to fight three giant dudes in Speedos. Hopefully we can whoop their ass. Let's just hit him with some heavy hitters. Let's go with Aguilao on this dude. This furious Gygus. Block. Great. Thank you. And he got the Sukukaja. And there's nothing to... Everything's a question mark. Kind of like my life right now. Oh, crap. So Koromaru can't hit them with anything. He's basically useless. Shit. That's not good. There you go. Nice. I am forced to wait. All right. So Aegis and Koromaru both can't fight these guys. I'm gonna have to restart this and bring a new like party. I might have to switch out Aegis and Koru for Aki and probably Yukari. Let's see how that goes. Okay, just restarted this with a new crew. I got Aki and Yukari along with Mitsuru. So let's see if we can do this. Um, do I have any good moves? Deals medium slash damage to one foe. Okay, let's try it with this guy. Come on, slash that ass. Ooh! Ooh, that was good. 109? Fuck yeah! Really? Threes and fours? We don't need that shit. That's not bad. That's not good, but it's not bad. Let's see what Yukari can do. Heavy hitter, heavy hitter. Oh, weak against win. Yeah, baby. Okay, that's what I like to see. I'm glad I got Yukari here. Let's, uh, do I have any skills that have win? Uh, let me check the personas that I have. Well, this guy, does he have any wind skills? Any Garu? Whoops. Garu, Garu, Garu. No Garu! Let's go the Holy Arrow. With this guy. Not bad. I think I shot an arrow at his dick, and then he fell in love. Can you stop doing that, Aki? You're trying to piss me off with that. Threes and fours, man. Uh oh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Get them all weak. Get them all weak so we can count on them. What? God, everybody's always missing. Oh, that's not good. Everybody's all charged up. Let's switch back um, to Sati. Gonna hit him with that slash attack again. That shit was nice. I think it was called Zane. To do with this guy. Give it to him, Z. Give it to him, Z. What? <sighs> this Mazio bull again. Still I can hit more with that if I slapped him with my own dick. Ah, that Mazio is not hitting anything. Such persistence. Uh oh no 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 no. Oh nice. <laughs> Ooh. All right, let's give Yukari a revival lead. Do I have anything that can do that? Revival. Uh oh. Well, I have a Magaru gem, so I might have to do that. Okay. Let's go the Mugaru, baby. Yeah! Gangbang time! You know what? I don't need Yukari. I can just keep using my uh, Garu, my Garu gems. Okay, you guys are dead. Bye bye now. Oh, gang up time. Just me and you? Oh, all three of us. Okay, good. Easy. The battle's over. No shadows are left. I'm glad I had Yukari though, because she basically exposed their weakness. Because. I didn't have anybody else that had Garu skills. And there she is, just laying on the floor. <laughs> okay, let's unlock the new area. We'll just leave her. Precious egg. Cool. I love precious eggs. Let's make our way up here. One or more of your team members are unconscious. Yes, let's continue without them. I just want to unlock the new area. I don't really care. Plus, I'm going to get the dog in my party anyway after this. The enemies around here seem different now. Please keep your guard up. Okay, let me see what they look like. Let me get this guy real quick. Actually, wait. I'm going to go back since I have this. And then I'm going to get Aki or Aegis and Koromaru. I honestly just want to see Koromaru in action. 
I want to see what kind of attacks he does, if it looks cool, because so far, Aegis has the coolest attacks. And should I attack him? He is pretty weak. Um, let's find someone there. There you go. Wa-bam! Like that? Alright, these guys are weak against electricity. Well, we subbed out Aki at the perfect time. So, you know what? I'm just gonna hit him with a normal attack. Not bad. I just want to see what Koromaru does. Ooh, Aki. That's a cool persona. It's like a wolf version of him. Nice. That's so sick. Okay, I don't have electricity skills, or do I? Uh, no. What does he have again? I'm still so confused with all these personas right now. Alright, no, nothing good. We have a holy arrow. Let's shoot that again. Make him charmed. Oh, well, we didn't charm him, but we shot him in his penis, too. Aw, you're so sweet. Alright, can we stop healing each other and just whoop their ass? I appreciate the healing, though. There you go. I just had the right idea. Okay, I'm not gonna waste any more of my SP, so let's just slice that ass! What?! Got me with the 69, though. Ooh, Mudo! Get him, boy! <sighs> nice. Oh, this is it. It's over now. Oh, my God. Okay. One more slash. Cool. Well, seeing Koromaru in action was cool. He's holding a knife in his mouth. That is so boss. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I did a little bit of leveling. Now it's time to return to the dorm. I don't like staying in Tartars for too long. I like to just balance it out. Like, fighting and then game. Or, I mean, it is the game, but you know what I mean? Like, the fighting and then the story. Like, the relationship part of the game. That's my favorite part of the game, actually. Summer Vacation continues. Cool. Cool. It's the longest summer vacation ever. I mean, I've never said in my life that I'm excited to go back to school, but in this game, I'm excited to go back to school. Hi, this is Kesuke. Do you want to go to the movies today? They're showing a nature documentary marathon. It looks really interesting. Maybe we'll learn something new. What will you do? Yeah, I mean, we haven't maxed out his social link yet, so yeah. Oh, great. Then I'll see you later. Kesuke seems excited. You have decided to go to the movies with KSK. He better buy me some popcorn, all right? Maybe, maybe a soda pop. I'm just kidding. I don't say soda pop. I don't know why people call soda pop. Never called it soda pop before. Port Island Station movie theater. The theater is crowded because of the movie marathon. There's a new theme each day. Today, they're showing nature documentaries. Sorry to make you wait. Shall we go in? No shit. Ta ta ta. Ta ta ta. <laughs> After watching the beautiful scenery in the movies, you feel like your charm has increased. Yay. Even though it's already maxed out. Wow, that was amazing. I'm glad we came. Well, we should get going. After saying goodbye to Keisuke, he decides to go back to the dorm. That's so cute of him. He dressed up for me and I'm just wearing a t-shirt. Shows how much I care about him. Sup, dude? What's up, bro? Damn, it's hot. I'm sweating like a pig. It's all in your head. The heat will only affect you if you allow it to. Of course, there are limits to that theory. Ugh. Alright, guys. I am going to leave this episode here. I'm going to continue to level up in Tartars. I promise you guys that I won't level up any social links. I always save that so we can experience them together. But I'm really glad you guys are loving this series. I'm enjoying Persona 3 so much. Until next time.